Hello Automation and your Lovers, welcome back to KT Sessions and in this session we are gonna see how can we use actions of screen package in Automation Anywhere A360 so we can see we have a screen package in Automation Anywhere A360 and it contains three action first one is caption capture area second one is capture desktop third one is capture window so as you know we use snipping tool for uh, taking any screenshot or capturing a particular area of the screen or we use print screen to capture the whole window similarly if you want to capture any window uh, with the help of the task board you can use these actions as per your requirements so we will see the use of these actions one by one so let's start capture area so capture area action if you want to capture a area particular area so we can use this action and uh, the first uh, feature is uh, select window we can select the window uh, on which you want to capture and uh, we can select a browser window we can select a application window or we can give the uh, path of that window if there is any window variable you can use that here uh, after that we can input the x-axis and y-axis of that uh, area for which you need a screenshot and I, and also we can give the width and height as well and if you don't know uh, what is the value of x-axis and y-axis for that particular reason or uh, area you can use this capture reason for, uh, feature just click on it and it will open and uh, it will allow you to capture the area for example I'm capturing this rectangle area so here you can see the value of x-axis, y-axis, width and height everything is uh, available it will auto populate the values in these uh, fields which are available on the right hand side in action palette so you can uh, manually select this area and then right click to save and exit and if you don't want to save you can press escape key to cancel the selection without saving okay so my selection is done i have pressed right click so it will capture this and uh, I have created this folder for screenshots I will uh, give the path of this folder uh, path to save image uh, I will give the path here and uh, over it file I will check this so let me run the board and I have opened this folder as well we can see the output here let me zoom this picture okay so that is how we can uh, capture a particular area with the help of task board so in case of uh, for example if you are working on a board in which you are interacting with an application and uh, you want to send uh, something uh, means if there is any technical uh, issue happened with the task or with that application so you want to capture a screenshot and share it with your uh, teams uh, so that they can uh, have a look means uh, what's wrong uh, what uh, what went wrong with this uh, board so it will be helpful uh, to capture the screenshot at the end and also if there any there is any business requirement uh, means they uh, business wants to capture uh, a screenshot or a particular area in any process or in any uh, board so you can use this feature now next one is capture desktop as its name suggests it will capture an image of the entire desktop it doesn't matter which window is opened it will capture the screenshot or it will capture the desktop only so here there isn't any fee option uh, for input only we have to give the file path to save the image so I have given the path and also we can change the extension as per our and some another uh, images extensions are available okay so let me run the board see this is our uh, desktop okay this is how we can capture desktop as well and next we can pass a window uh, variable as well and uh, here we will input the path of the output file and here we go
all right so this is how we can capture a window as well we can use all these three actions as per our requirement uh, for example if there are multiple windows are available uh, open on the screen and you want to uh, capture only desktop then you can use this capture desktop uh, action similarly if you want to capture a particular window you can use capture window and if you want to capture a small portion of any uh, window or desktop you can use capture area thanks for watching this video guys do let me know if you still have any doubt in capturing screenshot or any another doubt related to automation anywhere a360 please let me know in the comment section below thanks guys bye